Here we go again. This is part two of my 2023, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I released my top slabs, my personal top slabs for 2023. Now I'm about to jump into the worst slabs that I got back for 2023. Yes, this is ultimate trash, ultimate garbage grades that personally hurt my heart. <sighs> I shed a tear. As I go over these with you in the next few minutes. And thank you everybody for taking some time to jump on here and check out this video. And this is going to be my worst, worst slabs. My personal worst slabs that I got back here for 2023 for various reasons. And I'll share them with you. And we'll try to make this really quick and less painful than it has to be. Um, again, thanks for jumping on. If you don't mind, take a second to like, subscribe, you know, so you can see everything as I continue to drop them for the end of the year and going into 2024. Also in the comments, sorry, in the description, you'll see links to whatnot. You can sign up, get you a $15 credit. Check out my store, got all kinds of cars in there and the the items and whatnot, actually I have listed cheaper than eBay simply because whatnot has better fee structure, so I can drop the prices. Anyway, enough with all that being said, let's start the pain as I share with you my worst, worst grades from PSA for 2023. And we're gonna start with the 2022 Chronicles Trevor Lawrence photogenic teal and it got a seven and I couldn't tell you why I actually had another eye look at this one and we saw nothing less than a nine corners were crisp centering was good but it got a seven and I can't tell you why maybe I don't know the greater had um was going against Trevor Lawrence that week in fantasy and Trevor burned him I don't know but I got a seven on that one that was rough. That's all I can say about that one. Let's keep it moving. This one is a 2003 Dara's Classics Tom Brady. And it got a 7. Now this one has a different story behind it. Because when I submitted it, I checked everything. And everything was fine. But as you look here, if I can zoom in on that corner, it came back with a corner that was less than pristine, let's say. I went back to my video to show myself, um, um, review it and wrap it up, and it was not like that. So that one hurt, because um, it wasn't like that when I sent it out. So when I got it back with the seven, I immediately saw the corner and knew something was up. Ah, again, just hurting the poor brother's heart. Just hurt my heart, man. Cause you, we all are collectors out here. No way that any of us sends a card in that has a corner like that. That's just, I would think not, but you never know. Next card. Um, this is my eighth worst. Eighth worst. And this is a 2021 Panini Instant Justin Fields, the franchise. And I know a lot of people say, well, those, you know, the all white around it. You know, the only thing worse than that is having an all-black border, which I understand, but I got so many of these at the same box that I ordered from Panini that got 10s. And this one got a 6. And I still don't know why. And maybe I need a, you know, those magnifiers. I see it's kind of off on, offset on the back, but not to the point of a 6. So, yeah. When I saw that one, that one hit. That one hit hard because I'm not a huge Justin Fields fan per se. I like him though, and I think he can be really good. And to get a six on that one, that one stung. That one stung. Number seven. Now, this hurts because of who it is. Granted, I didn't expect to get a 10, but I was expecting an eight. Maybe a nine. 91 Skybox MJ with the with the trophy. You know, all the old school collectors definitely know this one. I, I remember getting this when I was 
still in, I think I may still been in middle school when I got this card the first time. It's not the same one. And it got a five. A five. Ugh. So, this is what I'm actually going to keep just because it has a sentimental value uh, just from my childhood. But a five is something that I just can't laugh at because MJ doesn't deserve a five. There's, he deserves better for, than a five just for being MJ. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so, number six is, mul is a multiple. Is a multiple. Multiple. Multiple cards, same person. 2022 Stadium Club Wonder. 2022 Tops Heritage Wonder. 2022 Update Black Gold Wonder. Another 2022 Tops Heritage Wonder. I'm just sharing those four because I sent probably 10 or 15 <laughs> that all got 10s and 9s. And I don't have to go into it. I'm not going into it. You all know why. And in the back of my head, I really hope that he's innocent. And not for football's sake, just for human decency's sake. <laughs> that he didn't do the things that they're saying he did. But I did just, just saw, or I just, yeah, just saw a um, an update that said that he did not appear in court um, regarding this incident. So that's not a good look. That's not a good look. I'm just hoping he ate something bad or, or there was bad, there was traffic and he just couldn't get there because not appearing in court for a situation like this is definitely not a good look. So. All four of those wanders are coming in at number six. So we got five left. It's gonna start getting a little nasty here. This one, again, Justin Fields. This is a 2021 Prism Draft Picks, red, white, and blue. I just think the car looks great. I like the way it looks. So I sent it in and it got a six. Got a six. Um and this was one of my later ones. So this one actually went through a different group and they took a look at it also out here in the Bay Area. I actually put it under the little the little scope, the little lens. It looked good also. Came back with a six. Um, I was expecting a nine. Um, but surprise. <laughs> so that's Justin Fields with a six. Number four, my fourth worst one. This one hits personal. Um, and I've had to, you know, suck this one up. This is Justin Herbert. And this is the 2020 um, Optic Pink. And the reason this one hurt is because it was a 9.5 on HGA. And I cracked and resubbed it. And I thought that it would probably get a 9. A 10 would have been a blessing. But I wasn't expecting that. But I just knew that a 9 in PSA would kind of go much further than a 9.5 in HGA. So I decided, let's give it a try. And it got an 8. And every time I look at it, I'm speechless because even when I want, even when I think about selling the card, the difference in the 8 and a 9 is so much in value. That is crazy. Um, again, I'm not even talking about 10. I'm just saying 8 to 9. And so for this to go have a 9.5 is and and come back as an 8 especially when um, I had another card that was a 9.5 and it came back as a 10 from HGA and I had another one was a 9 at HGA and came back as a 10 also so when this one to come back at 8 threw me for a loop but again it is what it is it is what it is number 3 oh boy this one this is funny because the grade is actually not bad, but the timing couldn't be worse. And that's a 2021 Leaf Trinity Mac Jones um, Portrait Auto Purple out of 10. And I had never done a 
signature um, grade, so I decided to do it. Just throw it in there, and I kind of tell because of the how that stroke was a little light right there, and it got an eight on the auto, but it gemmed at a ten for the card. But now the guy's not even playing. Not even playing. Bailey Zappi. I mean, I always thought Bailey Zappi looked good. But I've seen Mac Jones play, and I thought Mac Jones could actually do well. I mean, he was a pro bowler his, his rookie year. And I think that he's another quarterback that, you know, is, a, is having a hard time navigating that system. But granted, if what they're saying is true about his attitude and stuff, then that's just, that has nothing to do with the coaching to me. But from a personal standpoint, for me to get a 10 on this, and now he's not playing personally sucks. <laughs> it just sucks, man. Ah, so this was more so one of my worst simply because of the time. Mac Jones at a 10. My second, this is number two. Number two. Second worst return of the year. And this is by far the worst grade that I've ever received since I took um Western civilizations my sophomore year in college and I'm not gonna tell you what grade I got at that class I just took I'll just say I had to take it again let's just say it like that and this is a Jordan Love 2020 optic elite series rookies and it got a straight up four and if you can see I'm not sure if you can tell but there's like a little like a pit bull or some chihuahua put sink his teeth into it right here and that card, see if I can get some, there it is. You can see it there. And that card was not like that when I sent it. Again, who would send a card like that to get graded? Who would waste the 19 bucks? Um, and I sent it in. It came back like that at a four. And the thing is this. What I've learned is, even if I have the video evidence to show that it didn't look like this when I sent it, which I do, if it can be proven or if they say that it was damaged to the box or something happened in shipping, then it's not, they're not liable for it. Right? I mean, so it's one of those things I have to learn and just kind of move along with. But when I saw that one, I just got sick because I'm like, I got a four. <laughs> I got a four. And yeah that's a four that's exactly what it says i'm just gonna keep this one again also because it's just astonishing to look at a four <laughs> on a psa grade that's one of those things i bet when when it comes through they're like hey chuck rick take a look at this look at this crap and they kind of look at it and laugh like what was this dude thinking this is trash and then they proceed to make fun of it a little more and slap a four on it Moving right along to my last card. This is my number one, personally, most disappointing grade that I received back in 2023. If you saw any of my older videos, you saw how excited I was when I ripped it. And then you also saw how disappointed I was when I did the PSA reveal and saw this come back. This is 2022 Justin Herbert Chronicles Prism Black Orange Signature and it got an 8. It got an 8. And till this day, I have no clue why. There are a little bit of like scuffs on the I don't know if you can see but on the actual um case which also i want to say be careful when using these psa slab slab covers because some of those things have been known to scratch cases which i saw some youtube videos about that as well so do be careful about that but again back to the subject this got an eight everything was perfect on this card got looked by again another group um sent it in Paid a little extra dollars so it can come back quickly. And the autos are 10. Great. Yeah, whatever. But this thing got an 8. 
and it's number one out of 75, I just knew I had a gym. I thought I had something fantastic in my hands. I still like it. Well, a lot of people tell me to crack it and send it again, but I get nervous cracking cars because when you crack it, you can really jack it up at the scratches. Um, I'm debating on what to do, but every time I look at this, I just get angry. I get really angry staring at this eight and having no clue why. So that's my number one most disappointing PSA return of 2023. 2022 Chronicles Justin Herbert, Prison Black, Orange Auto, one of 75. So, do a quick rundown of the trash I received back. <laughs> we got the Trevor that was a seven. We got the Brady that was a seven. That corner up there came back pretty choppy. We got the Justin Fields franchise, which was a six. We got the MJ, which was a five. Dang, MJ. I feel like I disrespected you, dog. And then we have the Wander Group. Tens and nines, but I'll go through all those again. You pretty much know why. That's on the list. We got the Justin Fields Red, White, and Blue Prism at a six. The Herbert Pink Optic, the eight. And that was a resub from the HGA crossover. Freaking Mac Jones, man. 10, auto eight, two of 10. That's a nice car for somebody who's not seeing any action right now. The good thing about this, like I say though, is an Alabama card. So if he gets traded and goes somewhere else and balls, at least it's not in a Patriots jersey. Jordan Love put a four because it like he got chewed on by a rabbit chihuahua or something. I don't know. Definitely didn't leave the house like that. And last but not least, the number one most disappointing card that I got back from PSA for 2023, Justin Herbert, Prison Black Orange Signature, one out of 75. So, let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you had some clunkers that you got back from PSA also. And again, all the grading groups could do better. Um, I definitely, like, I sent a ton of cards. I'm still getting cards back from, a, from um, PSA now. Um, I have tried a couple other groups. I'm still waiting for those to come back. But I think the big thing for me with PSA is I just wish I knew what the problem was. Right? You know, some of them at least tell you, give you grades on the surface corners centering all that good stuff i just wish i could have had an idea of what happened with some of these cards um so i could do better personally or can sleep better at night knowing that okay this is the problem versus just looking at it and trying to figure out what the hell happened um but with all that being said thanks for giving me your time again like comment subscribe all that good stuff staying staying active and have yourself a safe New Year's and look forward to seeing everybody in 2024. Welcome to Collector. Done.